Hello Internets, it's Riptard here and welcome to my behind the scenes how to make a four chords video video. I figured a lot of you guys might be wondering how I make four chords videos and I thought it'd be cool to kind of show you the whole process because a lot more work goes into it than maybe you realize. So I figured I'd show you every step of the way. So come take a look. Okay, so step one of making a four chords video is first finding the songs. So where do I find songs that are the four chords? Because not all songs use the four chords, believe it or not. Um, there's a couple places I find four chord songs. One is the radio. Um, I try to listen to the radio as much as possible. Usually when I'm in the gym pumping huge, gigantic weights, that's one place, or driving in my car. Another place is a lot of YouTubers comment and say, hey, this video is the four chords. And so I definitely read all my comments that everyone comments and I save them in a Word document here and so when everyone comments I really appreciate it because when I was making my first couple four chords videos sometimes it was kind of hard to find songs but now a lot of people just comment songs and probably half the songs I find come from songs that people commented on my videos. Um, and the third place I find a lot of songs is I follow the Billboard Top 50 and I actually am subscribed to a channel on YouTube that shows the top 50 songs, pop songs currently, so I just kind of listen to those. So this is song number 28 right now. Don't think that's four chords, so. So I just listen to all these songs um, once a week and just write down any songs I think could be the four chords. So this is a look at the list I was talking about. Um, every time I hear one of those songs that I think could be the four chords, I write it in this Word document. And so all these songs here are every song since my last four chords video that I think could be the four chords. So the next step, once I have a big list of songs, is to start going through the songs and actually figuring out if they are the four chords. And when I say that the four chords, I kind of cheat a little bit because not all the songs are the same four chords repeated all through the song. I use songs that just have the chorus maybe as the four chords or maybe just the verse the four chords or maybe even a little section of the song is the four chords. If it has the four chords in there somewhere and it repeats, I'll use it usually. So give a little credit back to the, the singers, okay? Songwriters. So I'll pick a song off my list here. Um, Froggy Fresh, same old kid. You guys know Froggy Fresh, right? Formerly known as Krispy Kreme, yeah? YouTube phenomenon. So we'll start playing the song here. I'll start trying to figure out what chords he's using, so. So I don't know if you heard that, but I kind of cheated because I already knew that song was the four chords, so you don't have to watch me for 15 minutes. But this song is the four chords, it starts on the minor. Um, and another thing I do is I transpose. I'll bring the camera closer so I can show you. Okay, so what I mean by when I transpose a song, is when I want to make sure every song uses the chords that I use in all my four chords videos, which is G, E minor, D, and C. So when I transpose, the songs aren't always in those four chords. So I have to either shift them up or down to fit those four chords. So in the case of Froggy Fresh, Same Old Kid, um, it starts on E minor, C, G, D, but it's not actually in that key. So to get it in that key, I have a transpose button here, and I actually go negative three. So if you watch, there's an E minor, and you hit so that's negative three. What's that do, what that does is it takes the key down three half steps. And it's getting complicated here, but basically it's a way I can transpose it into those four chords and play those four chords while playing with the song. Make sense? No? Okay. Anyway, that's what I do. Okay, so what I've done now is I've gone through all 50 or whatever songs I had written down booted out the songs that weren't actually four chords, and transposed all the rest. So that just took 100 hours. 
no big deal. But anyway, yeah, it's fun. So now what I do is I like to organize the song so it has a good flow when I actually play the four chord song. So I order the songs into what order the four chords they are, and I kind of separate those out and then choose the order they go because every song has a different melody so I like the melody to kind of flow between song to song so at this point it's a lot of going through the songs practicing with the guitar and actually learning a lot of the songs because a bunch of these songs I don't even know so I have to learn and then practice 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 all right if you can't tell by how much my hair has grown since the last time I filmed it has been a couple months and today is the day of filming so yes, this is actually how it looks when I film. I put up a ton of lights. I think lighting is one of the most underrated things in making YouTube videos. Um, no one wants to watch a video with, you know, bad lighting. So I like to get put, take out all the lamps I have and just stick them all around me. <laughs> Here's the gray couch where many Riptard videos have been filmed. There's the blue guitar where many four chords have been played. <laughs> um, so a lot of people wonder how I remember all the lyrics. Well. What I do is I cheat. Actually, in the first couple Four Chords videos, I tried to memorize them, but pretty much now I just go ahead and I have them all up here on the TV, and I actually look at that a lot during the video to keep me on track. Um, and we have um, my microphone here, which is plugged into my computer because I record separate audio for a little bit better audio than just what comes off the camera because I use just a teeny little camera. Yep, that's what I film all my videos on. It's just called the Creative Vado. Um, it films in 720 HD, but $70 on Amazon. It's a good little buy, so I have another one which I'm filming with on now. So, how many takes is this going to take me? I don't know. Usually it takes anywhere from 10 to 30. I think the last one I filmed took like 30 takes, so whew, my voice gets sore. But um, I just try to minimize the mistakes, try to get through it all with as little mistakes as possible and hope it goes pretty well. So here we go. So the next step now that I have the main part recorded is to do all the additional vocals. Like when you see me in the little boxes singing other things, I record those separately. So here's the program I use, GarageBand, which comes with all Macs. Um, and each one of these is just a separate recording I've done. Um, that will be added into the video afterwards. So I do a lot of piano and more recordings on the mic here and just fit those all together. Alright, now all that's left is to take all those audio parts I made and film visual parts to it. What you see in the little boxes, I actually lip sync to what I already recorded. So I have it all set up again here and I just film against a white wall so I can add those in later. And I'll give you an example here of how it looks before and after I add all the little boxes. It looks a little different from what I actually record on the couch. So check this out. It's a little different before and after editing, doesn't it? Lastly, I just want to show you guys my editing program I use, which is called Final Cut Express. It's a nice program. Um, edit everything with it. It. So here's my project here. You can see I've been working on all on the left up here. These are all the little video files, all the little boxes that I have to edit in. Um, and here's the edited project. That's another thing I have to do. I have to put in all the chords here where it says E minor and the name and the artist of each song. So you can see down here on the master track every one of these little things is the chord changes. I have to put those all in with the music and all of these are the song names and titles and all that. And then you can see up here are the boxes and as always I finish with a song that has a ton of boxes you can see all these boxes that I have to edit in and you know match up the lip syncing and everything so it looks good. And then I am done with my four chord video. And then comes my favorite part which is uploading it to YouTube and reading all your guys' comments. So it's all worth it in the end. So I hope you guys learned a little bit about how I make these videos. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you watched this video because it took a lot of work. <sighs> Just kidding. Alright, thanks guys. See you later. Oh!